I couldn't sleep the night before my first transformation either. I feel like I'm about to explode. There's nothing to be scared of. You'll be right here with us. Lindisfarne, as I express in my book, Resources and Religion on Medieval Lindisfarne, has always been a sanctuary, a magic safe haven, as it is cut off from the outside world for most of the day, which is why we have timed our visit so carefully. What's up with you, Mads? Nothing. I'm just excited. What's everyone doing when we get back? Mum's just hatched some chicks. They are so fluffy, you have to see them. Sorry, Shad. I'm going around Maddie's. Oh, yeah? Mum's making a family tree, finding out about Riddy inside of the family. Oh. All the black sheep. <laughs> Where is All right, come on, everyone. Top, top, off we go. Linda's Farm Castle was built around 15... 1550, using stones from the abandoned monastery. Which may explain why the castle is haunted. Bond Imagine you're a Lindisfarne monk. Armed men are riding down the causeway. You run inside the monastery, a place of safety, a sacred place. No one will dare harm you. You lock yourself inside and only trapped yourself. You have to get out. That night in the cellar's not looking too good now, is it? It's going to be horrible. I don't know how my parents do it. How are we going to do it? You're up here. Oh, you two missed the best bit. Monks were getting their heads chopped off. It was brilliant. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, dear. It's rather high up here, aren't we? Um, I got a bit carried away down there. I I'm sorry. It wasn't you, miss. Claustrophobia. I understand that. The imagination is far more powerful than the logical brain. We know there's no danger stood on a roof or in a crowded room, but um, still. So what do we do, miss? We need to get in some place and instinct tells you it's too scary to even try. If I knew the answer to that, Maddie, I would feel a lot better stood on this roof. See you downstairs when you're ready. I didn't know claustrophobia was catching. Okay, people, the questions cover the castle, the lime kilns, together with the church and the priory. So, for those of you who have been paying attention, this should be very easy. And there is a prize for the most correct answers. And remember to be back at the minibus by five o'clock without fail, or we will miss the time. Right, well, we know questions 12 to 15, so we just need to answer three questions in the village, two in the lime kiln, four in the priory, two on the beach. OK, then you two take the church and the village and we'll do the rest. Sorted. Well, we're a team, we're not supposed oh, to be... The difference doesn't care how we get the answers, as long as we get a good marks. And if we finish fast enough, we'll have time to go for ice cream. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Right, so we'll meet you both at the priory later, yeah? This would be a brilliant place to spend full moon. Here? Yeah. On an island. What could be safer? Running on the beaches, playing in the ruins. Would be amazing. So, let's do it. Brilliant. I can't. My parents are expecting us home. Yeah, to share their cosy little den. This is my first transformation. 
I want to be with my family, and you promised you'd spend full moon with her. So there's nothing else to talk about, is there? Idiots, ahoy! What are you doing, Jimmy? Stealing the crab's lunch money? They haven't got any. They're feeling the pinch. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll set up for your worksheet answers. Help yourself. It's blank. Go fetch, leak boy. <laughs> Not on your way. <laughs> go on, go and get a leak boy. <laughs> Good fraud, Jimmy. Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> what are you going up there for? Good luck with that. I'm gonna watch him. <laughs> Come on, Ridian. We don't have time for this. Yeah, listen to her. He's gonna fall. I'm watching you, mate. I'm watching. Ridian! Ridian! Don't move him! He might have broken a bone. Just go get help! Go! Sam, where are you? Are you okay? Where does it hurt? My ankle. Surprise, surprise, no Ridian, no Maddie. Probably smooching on the beach somewhere. Right, we have two competing theories. One, they're dating, and two, she's... Rah! What we need is evidence. From now on, we stick to them like glue. On the bus, at school, after school. Everywhere they go, we're there. Either we'll find some evidence, or they get so fed up with us, they have to start talking. Agreed? Agreed. You need to get to the bus, you can still get off the island. And leave you on your own? I won't be on my own. One of the teachers will stay with me. The other one will get you home before the moon rises. You can't transform with the teacher staying with you. I'll be fine. Just get off the island while you still can. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to make sure you get through this. Maddie, if you want to transform with your parents, you have to go now. I can't leave you here. Oh. Oh. Really hurt. You fell off a roof. Keep everyone on the coach. Tom, Shannon, sit down. Permission? Let Mr Jeffries deal with it. Maddie, I'm fine. Go. She has to go home, sir. It's all right. I don't worry. We're all going to get home tonight. Don't you worry about that. OK, it doesn't appear to be broken. Jimmy, take his other one. But the, the tide, sir. It's all right. I told you to be back at the bus. Fifteen minutes early. If we hurry up, we can still make it. Maddie, come on. OK, you all right? OK, come on, up. up we go. Up we go. All right, it's all right, everyone. Don't panic. You okay? Yeah. You alright? In, Jimmy, in! <sighs> Get us moving. No way out tonight. There may be a red I'm quiet! I'm right, quiet! Please! I've spoken to the head teacher. We've taken the decision that we're going to stay here overnight. I'm going to go back first thing in the morning. Luckily, the hotel can squeeze us all in. But it's going to be three or four to a room. So gather up your things, please, and we'll allocate you a room. Operation stick like glue. Yeah, right, we've lost Maddie already. Ridian can't walk, we're stuck on an island, and my best mate already thinks I'm the beast of Stony Ridge Moor. Look, don't panic. Ridian will be fine once he transforms. The, the full moon heals almost anything in a wolf blood. But you both have to be out of the village by 8.30. I wish I'd never come here. I'd give anything to be back at home. Maybe we could get to you by boat. How would you explain that to the teachers? You wouldn't get here by 8.30 unless you can mm. paddle with your paws. Listen, Maddie, you and Ridian are going to have to think your way out of this. The two of you, you're on your own now, pet. But whatever you do, make sure you get out of the village in time. Oh. Not exactly luxurious, but you really can't manage the stairs. I'll be fine, miss. Thanks. Private room. Job done. Can I uh, give you a hand with that? Yeah, cool. Right, there you go, girls. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I'll go in there. Um, no, uh, that's reserved for uh, another guest. You have to go in with the keys. Have you go? Come on. Oh, look, it's Ridian's girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. He fell because he was showing off to you. Which means it's your fault we're stranding the old Linda's farm with no PJs. No cleansers. And no clean underwear. It's not my... Oh, great, it's Allergy Girl. I think we should complain. Poor animals. Maddie! Where have you been? I couldn't get rid of Shannon. Yeah, Tom was in here being all matey. I know something's up. How are you going to get out without people missing you? Shannon will think I'm with the three kids. I'll tell the three kids I've moved back into Shannon's room. She'll think I'm with them. They'll think I'm with her. Simples. And then I'll help get you out. Help me? Oh, my leg. Yeah, I really wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> Mam says it'll heal once you transform. We both need to get out of the village by 8.30. Okay. We should leave separately. Meet the boat sheds? Okay. Look. It'll be okay. I've done this loads of times. Twice. Okay, twice. But it'll be all right, Maddie. I'll look after you. The ghost dog of Lindis Farm, only last year, a young couple wandering near Lindis Farm Castle came across the entrance to the abandoned lime kiln. Inside, they heard a strange, unearthly howl. Thinking it was a dog that had got trapped in one of the tunnels, foolishly went inside to investigate. Little did they know, they were entering the lair of the ghostly white dog of Lindisfarne. And they were never going to come out. Well, the next day their friends went in search of them, but the couple had disappeared. All they found were the mobile phones. On one was a recording, a terrible snarling and screams, as if the couple had been attacked by some sort of monster. <laughs> Officially, the case remains unsolved. Unofficially, they blame the white dog of Lindisfarne. All right. <laughs> Who's got another good? I'm just going to the sh Oh, me too. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. Well, you've been following us around like James Bond on a mission. Just hanging out. That's what mates do. If you were really my friend, you'd just back off and give us some space. No cleanser, no toner. My skin's gonna end up worse than yours. Where are you going? I'm um, moving to Shannon's room. Good riddance. Don't want you geeking up our room anyway. She's moved into your room, Liam Breen. No, she hasn't. Going somewhere, Tom? Oh, 
So I was just going. Maddie's disappeared. Guess what? But he has like the two. That's it. I'm gonna find him. And I'm gonna get some answers. Come in. Oh, yes. story Miss Fitzgerald told. I don't think that was a ghost. It's the full moon. Maddie's changed. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding, right? Shannon! She's on the beach. Let's go! The haunted lime kilns. The white dog from Linda's farm line kilns. We've got her now. Come on. Look, see, there's nothing here. Great, can we go now, please? Poor Prince. Come on, Tom. Is this a good idea? Oh, don't be such a baby. <sighs> it's cold and dark. Look, we need to go. There's nothing here, Shan. What was that? Relax. Did you hear that? We've got 
water now. Please, let's go. There's nothing here. What's that noise? Oh. It's the ghost dog. There's no such thing as ghosts. Well, what did you think knocked us over, Shan? It was Maddie. Huh? You saw it, right? Where were you last night? What? Shannon has his idea. You were there, Tom. You know I'm right. Right about what? Maddie was out all night. And you went with her. We followed the sound of the howling to the lime kiln. And there was something there. We think... You think? I think Maddie changed last night. Became something else. And you know about it. What are you talking about? Something knocked Tom over. And it wasn't human. Well, it could have been a dog. A fox. Or it could have been a bunch of local kids who thought you were that ghost dog. It could have been anything. And where was Maddie all night? Well, I've got an idea. Let's ask her. Fine. Open up! Go away, loser! I'm coming in. No! Who come in? I don't have any makeup on. Where's Maddie? Don't ask us. I haven't seen her all night. Oh, boys, get them out. Oh, there you are. Well, you didn't think I was going to share with them, did you? I sneaked downstairs. Spent the night on the sofa. Still hear you. Where'd you go Viridian last night? Me and Ridian went on a walk. His leg was hurting. I can smell bacon. Does anyone want to come for breakfast? Me. I could eat a whole pig. You coming? Home sweet home. OK, come on. Sir, mm -hmm. you never gave out the prize for the worksheet. That is a very good point, Jimmy. I'll tell you what, let's call it a draw. Everybody wins. Take one and hand them out. Save one for Miss Fitzgerald. Yeah. They're so going out. They're lying. They have to be. You know there was something up there. Oh, Iridium was right. Probably just a straight up. Top. It was dark. All those ghost stories. Use your Occam's razor thing. But its simplest explanation wins. Reading disappeared, Maddie disappeared. They're dating. Simplest explanation, right? Maybe. That was amazing. I so get it now. Being a wolf lord's gonna be so great. Come on. 